In early 2024, we already have a lot of pretty banger mousepad releases, things that feel fresh and unique, things that just perform very well in game. We have pads covering the control side and the speed side. We've got some very good releases here from Padsmith, Infinity Mice, Lethal, as well as Esports Tiger. Let's get into it. The pads I'm gonna start with are the Padsmith pads. This is the Crucible. You guys can see it's got a beautiful design, one that very much so pops in person. There's a little bit of a hint of the fabric where it kind of turns a little kind of silvery when the light hits it. Um, and you can kind of see that variation in the pattern in the actual textile uh, when you look at the pad. The whites and the grays and the reds really pop on the pad with that kind of black background. Overall, the image looks very high quality and high def on the surface itself, which I think matters when you're looking at a pad that has a design. The pad does have a little bit of a texture to it, so when you're moving your mouse around with dots, you will pick up a bit of that uh, bumpiness from the textile itself. When you move to something like full-size skates, it cuts it down quite a bit. Just feels like a very nice, smooth, fast, and open experience. If you are a lover of the Hayate Atsu, this is something that I feel uh, somewhat mirrors the Hayate Atsu in terms of the dynamic friction. The static friction here feels a little bit more controlled, but it's very open and easy to micromaneuver your movements. And overall, initial friction is quite low. So I think it's a pad that has a very unique feel in terms of a speed pad in the uh, comparison of dynamic and static. But overall, again, it feels nice, fast, open. With small mice on something like a Hayate Atsu or the Crucible, I get a little bit wiggly as I am whipping my mouse around, tracking very fast targets. When I swap to a larger mouse and a heavier mouse like the Xlite V3ES, my tracking on the pad just felt phenomenal. Micro uh, uh, corrections felt flawless and just effortless. Um, and overall, between flicks and hard tracking, the pad felt very good in Apex Legends and I think is one of the better, more unique, a very fresh feeling speed surface that has released in early 2024. I think a lot of people will get this pad and say, mm, I haven't really felt this before. And to me, that's a very refreshing feeling. And just to show you guys the base, this is the base of the Crucible. And then we have the new base on the revised version two of the Temple of Dreams. I think both of these bases are really, really nice. And the foam on both of these pads is fantastic. It's a very, I would say more on the firm side and it rebounds very quickly. So for consistency, I feel like it's a pad that feels quite good, both in the Crucible as well as the revamped Temple of Dreams. This is the same surface, but has been improved a little bit over the original Temple of Dreams. The speed does feel somewhat similar. And to me, this is one of the best control pads on the market. It is a very interesting pad because overall, as you are moving slowly in game, you get this sense of um, slowness, that extra level of control in your movements in the sense that the overall speed has been cut down. I would say like three to four ticks under balanced feeling. Um, but as you are kind of whipping your mouse around, it feels effortless and there's no tug, there's no mud, and you are able to pick up quite a bit of speed with your uh, pressure behind your movements so, or the force behind your movements. That to me is a great combination with a control pad because when I want that additional speed and I'm moving slowly, I'm gaining that control. But if I ever have to then start moving quickly to correct myself when somebody is fast bopping around, I'm able to do that with uh, an effortless feeling, no tug, no mud. So it's a really great mixture of just a slowness and speed while still maintaining the ability to have these very nice micro transitions and not ever feel weighed down by the pad, getting too muddy and magnetizing your mouse down and preventing you from quickly transitioning and moving um, from very small target swap. So. To me, this is actually one of the best performing, uh, best performing combos that I've had in recent times. The G Pro Super Light 2, even just with default skates on the Temple of Dreams V2, has been one of my best performances that I've had in quite a while. It just felt better. My tracking felt fantastic, impeccable. I mean, I just was not missing shots. Um, and to me, I didn't think that I would perform as good as I did on the pad, but it definitely brings me back 
uh, memories as to why I reviewed the Temple of Dreams originally so highly. It really is a nice performing control surface. There are two revamped releases from Esports Tiger. I've got the Tang Dao below. I have the Chun Yun on top, and this is in that new really nice kind of babyish blue color that just really looks nice uh, with the combination that I have on my desk right now. In terms of just default G Pro Super Light Skates, the Chun Yun actually does in color feel slower than the one in black. It also feels more consistent. The pad is super comfortable in the sense that it is just very smooth feeling, kind of like a lethal Saturn, but even smoother um, and probably feeling quite a bit faster depending on your skates. With default G Pro Super Light Skates, it actually does feel like a balance pad. Dynamic friction does feel um, more on the balance side and those micro movements do feel uh, more balanced as well with a little bit of tug. So it's slower for sure than the uh, regular Raiden, either in mid or Xsoft, especially when you first get the Raiden. Moving to something like Dots, the pad does get a totally different experience. It is a super fast pad. Dynamic just opens up completely, coming becoming a very fast pad. Uh, and those micro movements open up and become quite a bit faster as well, including uh, initial friction. Initial friction is slower uh, feeling than something like the Crucible. So if you're looking for a very fast pad, the Crucible is definitely, I think, a faster feeling pad than the Chun Yun. But the Chun Yun is a phenomenal pad. I play very well with it, and it's just beautiful in this color. Getting to the base of the pad, it is like the pink version. It's that mirrored uh, poron base. So as you peel it off your desk again, you do have to worry about static electricity. The Tang Dao, I've, I've spoken about the Tang Dao so many times. This is probably my best balance pad that I have. It, to me, is a more consistent and better feeling version of the Artisan Zero. And in this blue color, it's just absolutely beautiful. It, the Poron Foam, I wouldn't say necessarily feels like an X-Soft. It kind of feels like a between of soft and X-Soft, maybe. Uh, maybe closer to soft. Overall, I think it's one of the best performing balance pads with static friction feeling very easy to control micro movements and your dynamic friction feeling actually nice and open, but not too fast and not too slow. I think it's a hair faster than something like an Artisan Zero. And again, the color is just absolutely magnificent. And we've got the offerings from Infinity Mice. This is the Speed V2. And I have the Real Kenzo, which is kind of a mirrored, uh, just a design version of their control pad. The Speed V2, you guys can check my video on the V1. The surface feels the same. It is something along the lines of a Raiden mid in feel. It's got a very spandexy feel and one that I think remains consistent and clean and does hold up under humidity. I think it's a nice pad in terms of a speed pad because Dynamic is very open, easy to whip your mouse around and just gliding along a little bit with less force. Um, it still feels nice, fast, and open, and static is um, quite fast as well. I think it's something that if you are a Raiden lover, it's worth a try, um, but overall the Raiden is quite a unique pad, one that starts fast, kind of breaks in a little bit, um, and has a very unique feel on Glide on the mouse. Overall, though, this pad is a improved version of the V1 that I rated very highly, an exceptionally good speed pad if anybody wants to try something new. And of course, the base has been improved um, and is quite nice. You've got the Infinity Mice logo and it is textured so you don't have that static electricity um, as you peel it off your desk. The real Kenzo is just a design version of the control pad, I believe. It is something that is very smooth and you do have a reduction in speed as well. Personally, I like the Temple of Dreams better than this. And you get a little bit less speed and more control on slow glide. So if you do want it to feel a little bit open, you could check out the real Kenzo. Um, but overall, static friction does have a reduction in speed as well, and dynamic does too. Um, to me, for control pads, there's a tough competition right now with something like the Riz from the Whale. Uh, and the Temple of Dreams V2. But overall, this does have a place in the market. If you want a very smooth pad with a design like this, you could definitely check it out. The base is the same as the Speed V2, uh, which is really nice as well. Coming back full circle to the Aqua Control Pro Mid from X-Ray Pad. 
The pad does come in a variety of sizes. It does have that new mirrored base as well with the static electricity issues as you peel it off your desk. Overall, it's kind of a typical feel to the Aqua Control series with that abrasive feeling on your skin uh, on Glide. You have a very consistent surface, however, one that feels very fast as well. So again, from all of the pads today, just a lot of speed pads that are quite good and do deserve a little bit of your attention. Somebody could easily like this over the other pads. It, I think this kind of boils down to if you are somebody who likes that hybrid surface and consistency um, and you don't mind that abrasiveness. The pad, again, very fast on dynamic and static friction, very easy to move your mouse. You don't have that extra layer of slowness on static like a control pad. And then initial friction is not um, too low, but it is on the lower side. It's very easy to get the mouse to start moving. Something that feels very good with default skates and then dots again do make the pad um, quite a bit faster. And uh, you lose a bit actually of that texture, that harshness on glide because of that abrasive surface, you lose a bit of that with dots, which is interesting. But overall, a very good performing pad, one that stays fast, open, and I think is easy to control on end range of motion. I don't ever really get that sense of wiggle like I do on the Hayate Atsu with smaller mice. Um, so I do think, again, if you like hybrid pads, the Aqua Control Pro Mid is quite good. Okay, last but not least, we have the Lethal Gaming Gear Neptune. This, I think a lot of people are going to feel very refreshed by as well, like the Crucible V2. This is a new textile that I don't think a lot of people will feel familiar to. It's a, the textile, like the fibers are a little bit on the harder side and very smooth. So you never really feel any grain or fiber sticking up like something like a Tang Dao or an Artisan Zero. It's a very satisfying, very comfortable mouse pad on the skin and on glide. The skate's feeling very smooth on the pad, even something like the default G Pro Super Light skates. Dynamic is very fast if you like speed pads, and static is very open, very easy to move without a lot of force to get that micro movement on um, any fast tracking or long range kind of pixel. Uh, tracking. It is a pad that feels quite good performance wise and again a very refreshing very unique surface. Initial friction is low and it is something that reminds me like the Hayate Atsu as well in terms of its overall speed but I think just the smoothness of the surface, the textile as unique it is, as it is, it's going to be a very compelling purchase as well. Um, one that will be pretty unique to you I think. The base is a, it's, it's not as good as something like the Saturn Pro line. It does move without a bit, uh, without a lot of effort when pushing it. Um, but again, during gameplay, you guys can see the pad is not moving at all as I'm whipping my arm around and my mouse around. So it's a very good showing, again, from Lethal Gaming Gear. I think this one's going to be a hit and I think is a great addition to their mouse pad lineup. Uh, filling that speed section. This is faster than the Mercury, faster than the Venus, uh, and faster than the Saturn. And I think it's probably my favorite pad so far from Lethal. And that's saying something because the Saturn is phenomenal. So there are a lot of really nice pads to choose from already in early 2024, adding to already a massive stockpile of really good pads on the market. But I think a lot of these companies are really producing good things that are a little bit different than anything we've already tried on the market already, which is the best thing of it all. The favorite combinations that I had during my testing, the Crucible V2 paired with the X-Lite V3 ES with dots felt phenomenal in terms of my tracking and my performance. I really enjoyed the Temple of Dreams V2 with my G Pro Superlight, surprisingly with the default skates. I just grabbed that and decided to try it. The Neptune actually with the Viper Mini Signature Edition felt awesome. Um, I think those were some of my best performances. And of course I had um, preferences with the other pads as well. But surprisingly, I had a different mouse that I preferred to combo with a lot of these pads. And again, a lot of them just feel absolutely phenomenal. That's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope it helped giving you a little look at the different pads. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.